Hi, I'm Udi Tivos from DIYphotography.net and today we're going to light a hard drive on fire. As a photographer you know that one of the most important things you need to do is to back up your files. You want to do this in case your house goes on fire, um, your disk crashes, your computer fries, you want to know that your files are safe. Uh, at my house I put another computer which is solely a backup computer in my bomb shelter and it's pretty safe there. But if you don't have a bomb shelter, you may want to consider something which is at least as safe. Um, I back up daily. I use a software called Second Copy, which actually copies my entire computer to a secondary computer every night. This is the IOSAFE Solar Pro 2T, and the premise is that it'll survive a fire, a flood, or both. That means that if your house goes on fire, and then the sprinklers go off, your data is still safe. This specific model is the 2T. It carries two terabytes of information. It has a fast USB 2.0 port, a faster e setup port, and a 12 volt input. Installation was pretty simple. All I had to do is plug in the SATA cable, plug in the power, and turn it on. After installing the drive, what I did is I went to computer management just to check out the storage section. And I saw my new 2 terabyte Hitachi drive. That means there is an Hitachi drive inside the I.O. safe. And then the other thing I did, just for the sake of the test, I put two things on the I.O. safe. A picture of, her, of my one-year-old. And to test the transfer rate, I put some 80 gigs of data on there. And after a while, I could see that the transfer rate was set to about 70 megabytes a second. So before we went outside, I put 80 gigs of data on the drive and we're not going to burn a house, but we're going to make some potatoes. This has been burning for 35 minutes. Actually, it's quite hot. Uh, I'm gonna take this bucket of water and shut the fire down. Uh, one more bucket. I think the fire is out. One more. I'm gonna try and uh... So back at the studio, we open the IO safe up to see what's inside. The first thing we do is to remove the screws. There were a lot of screws. Um, then I put on some gloves because I didn't want to injure myself when I opened the thing up. And after opening it up, we see the two ceramic blocks that protect it from the fire. And we also see a liquid tight bag uh, which holds the drive itself. Okay, we remove the bag and there we could see the IOSAFE, just a regular Hitachi drive. So as you saw, the IOSAFE is practically indestructible. Uh, it survived the fire, it survived the water. Actually, if you wanted to survive an earthquake, there is a solid state version that you can uh, impact and it won't die as well. So the IOSAFE can hold up to three teras, which is quite a lot, and it's also very quiet. Actually, some of the indoor shots that we took we took while the thing was operating and you didn't hear a sound. So the first thing that bugged me about the IO safe is how big it is. I guess it has to be big to survive the fire and flood and all, but it doesn't have a network port, so it, it means that it needs to be next to your computer. The other thing is the IO safe cannot be daisy chained. So if you're using more than three terabytes, you need to find a way to have more than one port open or to use the slower USB interface to access the drives. We salvaged the disk. Here it is, and this is a docking station where you plug a disk in, it shows on the computer, and I'm going to try and see if it works. And I'm going to turn it on. I can hear something going on inside the computer. Um, and it's something popped on. Let's see what it is. And I can see my 2010 uh, folder in there. And what I'm more curious about is to see if my daughter's picture survived. And yes, it has survived. This has been the IO safe. It's $4.99. If you carry about your disks, if you carry about your data, go get it. Uh, the IOIP gives it 8.5 out of 10. Excellent choice. <laughs>